Hi, everybody. My dad asked me to make a build for him. Um, he needs an all-round machine, a compact, silent all-round machine. He plays around uh, a little bit with virtual machines, so at least it should have six or eight threads and a lot of RAM. And um, um, originally I wanted to go with an i5 because he doesn't really like AMD, but the prices ruled that option out. And so I went with a Ryzen 5. 2400G. He probably won't use uh, those 11 Vega CUs on it, but the, that those eight threads are pretty handy for what he does. He also does a little programming. That's cool. Has a lot of things open, YouTube in the background and so on. So you know that CPU well, I guess. Then the storage. I went with a M2 SSD card and uh, Originally, I wanted to go with the Samsung one because they're pretty fast, but 40% more expensive. So I took one from A Data. It's still pretty performant, so and enough for what he does. And then uh, RAM, I went with G Skill DDR4 3200. Um, yeah, we need. 16 gigabytes of RAM for what he does, VMs and so on. And uh, I usually tend to buy RAM that lasts a little bit longer, so I don't buy twice uh, two uh, two uh, cartridges of four gigabyte RAM or slower RAM because I just want to buy RAM once and then maybe only change the CPU if it's necessary. And those should uh, last a little bit longer. Were pretty expensive, but not that much expensive. Much more expensive than slow RAM. And then the main board is a ASRock Fatality B4500 Gaming ITX AC. Uh, cool thing here is it has Intel Wi-Fi and La LAN or Gigabit LAN chips, and I'm a huge fan of those. Uh, in my view, those are the best chips regarding network. I hate real tech Wi-Fi chips, so yeah, maybe we have a little closer look. That's the small little thing. Also I went with ASRock because they have a lot of options in the BIOS and uh, I might play a little bit with the CTDP um, in order to get the heat down and maybe have a cooler system but we have to see about that yeah so that's the main board all the slots and behind the m2 slot where my ssd goes so and then we have a case i went for a pretty cheap chief tech mini ITX case that has a, a power supply that comes with a power supply with a 20, 250 watt power supply. I mean, it's not the <laughs> most beautiful case, but for what he does, that's fine. Hide it under the desk. It's small, compact, and uh, let's see. How it looks inside. If I can open it. Oh. I have to take all out. Oh shit. Oh god. Yeah. Yes. So. So, and that's where all the parts go. And um, yeah, I will build this thing, install Windows, put some apps on, and hand it over to my dad. Uh, if you have questions, I can also make some tests, maybe uh, measure the power usage or do some gaming benchmarks. But uh, 
I mean, the performance is pretty, will be pretty much in line with what you saw on my channel in all those uh, Ryzen 5 2400G benchmarks. So, yeah, let me know and I will get to work.